Uh, everything else is going on in here. Uh, we had a busy couple of days last week and the workshop was so busy that I didn't have room for a camera. Uh, I did do some videos on the Bedford over there um, on repairing some of the parts on that, which will uh, be a, another video coming up soon on, on that one. Um, <coughs> anyway, we're back on Eugene this morning. Uh, like I said, move forward a little bit. We've got the other radiator clip that we had missing, so we've got the, the proper one now. Um, got uh, two bolts of antifreeze here to go in, and also got the rad back record. Um, and here it is. There you are, brand new core in it. Um, it was black, I'd done the top with the green just because the top shows really. Um, not too fussed, but it's okay. Um, anyway, radiator, lovely job done by Matt at Hereford Radiators. Thanks, Matt, for doing that for me. Um, nice job. So, the idea is to get this refitted. Um, uh, getting the antifreeze in it. So then, <laughs> finally, Eugene's all sorted, engine mechanically wise, um, and we can move on to the brakes. Uh, I've now ordered all new brake parts, so uh, we can replace the whole lot in the next few videos, I hope. Uh, so, onward and upwards, and um, I've already done a video of re removing the rad, uh, which I'll put on, uh, obviously before the videos of replacing the rad, and then running him up, getting him to temperature, checking everything's all right. Anyway, there you go, so let's crack on, as they say. Fitted. Uh, now it's time to put some fluid in it, some water, some antifreeze, and uh, start Eugene again. I'm going to try and start him on the handle, just for the crack, really. I mean, he's totally cold, as you know, because uh, <laughs> I've got no water in it yet. So uh, he's totally cold. So I thought, what we do? Disconnect the battery, put the ignition on, and give it a turn, and see if he'll fire on the on the handle. I always like to do that with all the other vans and stuff. It's a good test on how reliable they are, if you know what I mean. Anyway, yeah, and then we'll um, talk about the electricals, because I'm not very great with electricals. Um, uh, I don't really like them. Uh, they frighten me. They seem to do the complete opposite to what I want them to do. Um, I have managed to do a few things uh, in the past, like quite a lot actually, and, and get away with it, sort of, um, well, I say get away with it, you know, it works. Um, but generally, my old mate Dave comes and uh, tries to teach me how to do electricals. But it sort of goes in one ear and out the other. I do listen, <laughs> don't know Dave, I do listen, but, um, you know, it's old dog new tricks and all that sort of thing. I mean, gosh, I'm only a young man, I know at 54, but trying to learn electricals uh, at my age is... Uh, Oh yeah, don't bear thinking about it half the time. Anyway, we're all good at something, but let's call I'm not good at. Anyway, Dave came the other day. This is what I was going to say whilst I put a drop of water in here. Uh, you haven't met Dave yet, but he's a good old boy. He's older than me by about a month, I think. Is that right? I think he is. Uh, anyway, I'm not very good at maths either. <laughs> But uh, he, uh, he's like a bit of a guru. You can have a, a, a car that's got more electrical issues than you can shake a stick at and uh, just say, Dave, fix that and come back a day later. And uh, nine times out of 10, he's good, you know. But there you are. All right, let's put a bit of water in him and see if we've got any leaks. Oh, missed. can't really put a funnel in the top of this radiator because there's a, a shield there 
so I won't really. I didn't check the taps closed, did I? Think it's all right. Yeah, nothing coming out yet. So it's looking pretty good. Try a little bit more before I put the antifreeze in there. Oh, there it goes. must make for an exciting video. All this glow in. Got any drips. Got any drips. Looking pretty good. Let's get a bit of rag. So that was cold in here this morning. I put my heater on, but I couldn't have the heater on when we we're talking because, uh, or when I'm talking, because you can't really hear me, as you probably heard in the other bit of the video. Uh, it looks like we're all right. Sorry about the sniffing. But, uh, a bit of a cold, well, sniffles anyway. Everyone ready for Christmas? <laughs> right, let's put some of this in. So we've got the uh, clear antifreeze. I'm not going to measure it out because that's all a bit anal for me. So I'm just going to wang it in there, more the merrier. It is cooling as well, so it's not going to do any harm. And uh, I'd rather have too much rather than not enough. Oh, there goes one. Pick that up later. Always pays to have nails, doesn't it? There you go. Right, number two. And it goes. Smells good. Right, drop more water in the top there. This is uh, special water, it's from Herefordshire. Well, actually, it's probably not, it's probably from Wales. And it goes. Here it comes to the top. Right, now we've got that in there, I'm going to leave the lid off. It's going to be a bit coming out the overflow. Yeah, it's a little dribble coming out the overflow there. Right, and uh, we're going to fire him up on the handle. We'll try it on the handle and uh, see how we get on. Yep, everything's still running nicely there. Right, put that away and we'll be dropping in there. be a little bit careful on the handle because I pulled me back out the other week it's gradually got worse and worse but I've all got the old painkillers going on which has uh, helped no end today right, where's my handle there it is handle up you uh, mind the rope in there Great idea doing this with a bad back. Getting to locate. Where's the old? There it is. Right then, get a bit of ignition on. Get a choke. Choke. Give me a couple of old. Uh, couple of them. Now I'll be ready. Let's have a go. All right, you cheat. Oh, God, it's as tough as old boots. Okay, let's 
just check that I got everything right. Go. Come on, old chap. videos are a bit boring won't you because uh, I like to have comments on what we're doing uh, if you're going to sleep at any point 
let me know and uh, I'll do something or show you something that might keep you awake. I've watched too many YouTube videos where, you know, it's really good stuff to go to sleep on. Um, you know, and uh, not criticising anyone, but I like to be gripped, at least interested, um, sort of thing. But I have to say, overall, I'm really, really pleased with the way this little uh, engine sounds, the way it runs, everything really. I nearly lost my fingers then, that would have been entertaining. Been like that. Ah! Hmm. Right, tell you a bit about what we have been doing. take the old camera off the stand for this right like I said Dave came in the week and so did Steve uh, Steve's from Wales hello Steve hello Dave he's from down in uh, that way down south uh, where is it near Marlborough way that way anyway I won't give me your full address Dave in case you get swamped but anyway uh, he came up the other day we had a look at the electrics on Eugene like I said I couldn't video much uh, he found a fault with that indicator now we all know that these indicators aren't original and I have been told by a couple of people to take them off and chuck them away. That's fine, but I'm going to keep them for now. Um, I'm not ignoring you, but I'm going to keep them for now because it just makes it road legal and at the moment, until I find something a lot less sort of like that won't really notice that it still works. I'd like to see the indicators under here with a little LED or something so you can't really see it. But um, I'll keep them for now. And the back ones, we're going to take off and put them in the top of the rear lights. I think everyone does that, but that's uh, a friend of mine, Al, mentioned that. He done his like that, so I think I might do that as well. Anyway, so uh, we look through the electrics. Everything works apart from this indicator, which needs a bulb, which I have now got this morning, some 6-volt uh, bulbs that came this morning. So I could put one of those in and get that working, no problem. But the really great thing is Dave managed to fix my panel lights. Look at that. How cool's that? Yeah, little panel lights. Well, the switch was knackered, um, so I had another switch. It's not the original type, but it is another switch, just a pull push one. Um, and we got them working, so what I'll do is order an original for there and then just swap them over. But that cute. That's well cute, isn't it? Hey, how about that? Right, also, we know why we don't have a petrol gauge. Well, like I said, a friend of mine, Al, came over, took one look at my petrol tank and said, oh, that's not the right one. It's been changed from a smaller tank and it's also had a filler put on the outside. So I'm going to change the tank, put an original back in, and then I'll weld up the hole and get rid of that. And then the filler will be here under the seat and this will be the sender. And the reason we don't have a petrol gauge is because we don't have a sender. The wire's tucked up under the dashboard. So there you are, another little job to do. But everything else, indicators, all there, everything works as it should now, apart from this one bowl. So I'll have a look at that next, uh, whilst he's getting nice and hot. I'm say he's getting nice and hot. He's not getting hot at all, which is a great thing really, isn't it? It means that everything's working as it should. Um, sounds as sweet as an art. I can't get over how sweet this engine is. It's lovely. Really lovely. Right, so I'll put you back on the tripod and we'll put the bulb in this light and get that working.
there you are then you could safely say that electrically mechanically he's all good I'm gonna switch him off now yep so I'm very pleased Oh, the day is getting closer where I can take him out on the road. I'm rather hoping we're going to get a bit of snow because I'd like to try him in snow. <laughs> it's cold enough. Right, okay, so we've got all electric sorted. Uh, we've got all mechanicals under the engine sorted, all the electricals sorted, and now it's the brake laters that we've got to look at next. But I can't get on with any of that until I get all the parts. So that's our next job. Um, I've also got to grease all my nipples, which is always something that's good to do, because there's nothing like a nice bit of lubrication to keep everything nice and supple, as they say. Anyway, read into that how you like. Um, just whilst we're on the subject, uh, if you're not just interested in the Jeep, you're interested in other things, uh, I'll give you a quick update on what I've been, uh, other things I've been doing. So that's Eugene for the time being. I'll just put his battery off. Because I don't like leaving these things connected, as I've said in the past. Right. Um, oh, something I have lost is one of my battery stays. I've, I've got one for this side, but the other one I can't find now. It's here, so I'm not going to buy another one until uh, I sort that out. Right. Let's get on to the um, 19... Hang on. Can I get this zoomed out a bit, or is that it? Right. 1946 Flying Standard 14. Uh, done a fair bit of work on this the other day. Um, and... So it's moved on quite nicely. It's now, all the brakes are done and the engine runs superbly. It's now on the tank because it used to be on a separate tank. We managed to sort the tank out. Uh, it was the actual feed from the tank to the carburetor uh, that was uh, knackered basically. It was sucking air, not sucking petrol. So we replaced all the fuel lines all the way back, cleaned out the tank, and now it runs beautifully on the tank. Um, I'll do a video on that, a separate video on that, uh, to, to give you an update on that. Also, right, this is the uh, 61 Bedford CA, which um, I hacked to pieces the other day. Uh, the front boxes under the wings were completely shot, both sides, um, and there was various bits all around the, around the top of the bulkhead that had to be uh, uh, looked at. Uh, again, this is another video, but uh, I just want to give you a quick update. So the boxes are now repaired, all new metal and the floors um, inside on the arches all repaired new metal um, all welded in both sides and uh, everything else so we've made a good start well i've made a good start on this the floor um, and all the cleaning out steve's been doing with me uh, great lad um, getting all that cleaned and and ready to look at there's a lot of bits of welding to do along here to do um, um, and some on the uh, upper back panel but like I said again it's another job the floor um, because this had a Mazda uh, MX-5 engine fitted into the van when I bought it um, I basically ended up chucking the chassis and the engine away because uh, it was hacked to get this other and they also hacked the floor so what I've got is a replacement floor um, uh, out of another van so I'm going to take all this floor out or most of it and then replace it with a, a, a good second hand floor uh, so that will bring that on uh, nicely I hope and then it should be all pretty solid inside the cab in that area uh, there's a fair few bits uh, to do uh, on the on the top of the van uh, this gutter isn't so bad although it's bad enough it's not so bad the other side is horrendous so that is a major major undertaking to get that right you can't see it but Anyway, um, so this would be for all the Bedford guys to get their teeth into, I suppose, and tell me that I'm doing it wrong and all that sort of thing. Uh, another box all repaired there, and I've had to repair this bit on the flitch because this was completely gone, so I butt welded a piece in there um, and basically put it all back new metal, cut the rot out. we got this bit to deal with up here. Oh, God. Don't you just love it? Uh, yeah, and it goes on and on really. There's bits in here like this is crusty, needs replacing, so I'll make a new one of them and then I'll weld it in. Uh, it's nothing that can't be done, it's just time and uh, effort, isn't it? Really. Uh, but yes, this is the major one, this is the major project. So Eugene's a bit of fun compared to this. But anyway, there you are. So there's a few things going on in, in the Madworks garage and um, my camper there is still awaiting restoration. It's on the road and everything, but I've been, I've had it years, and uh, I've collected everything new for it, all new panels, uh, new doors, new front panel, bonnet, 
everything uh, and one day I'll take it off the road and uh, I'll, I'll completely restore it and repaint it and give it all new rubbers. It's got a new engine now and uh, mechanically it's perfect. It's just um, the body's suffering now. She's getting a little tired. Anyway, uh, so that's the camper. And that's all we've got in here at the moment. Uh, we've got other stuff, but this is what we've got going on at the minute. So there you are. I hope I haven't bored you too much and uh, onward and upward. And when I get the brake parts, we'll do another video. Anyway, cheers for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Press the little bell for all notifications. And please share the videos about and uh, tell your friends and more subscribers, the better. Anyway, all the best. And uh, if I don't see you before, have a great Christmas and a happy new year. And I'll see you in the new year if I don't see you before. But anything can happen. Cheers. <laughs>